Hi, I'm Diane Neubauer. I have two ideas I wanted to share this time for reading and related to Chinese and beginning readers especially. So these were some things that were really, I think, very successful with the class. They enjoyed it, but they also were actually reading and wanting to read Chinese. So I think it could transfer to other uh, languages as well, maybe with some different twists for those languages. But um, the first idea I'm calling Smack. So here's a Smack board for my fifth graders about a week and a half ago maybe two weeks back. They were learning um, just a few really key verbs. You'll see there's some of their, there's xiuan for like, there's shi for is, there's chu for go, and those are the only three verbs I think that are up there right now, combined with different pronouns that they had, had known. Um, so the idea of smack is I will read one aloud. Child gets this uh, or some stuffed animal and goes up and smacks the one that I say. The smack, as you can see, for a fifth grader, is a big part of the fun. So, um, or, you know, they can come up and go like that too, and that's very entertaining as well. Um, I added a new twist when I did this with a class today. Different charts. Um, you could put nine, you could put 12, you could put 16. Um, what I did with them, I broke them into two teams to do it that time. There's different ways I think you could do it with teams, but the way I did it was they took turns. I gave that team one of the prompts, they had to go up, smack it, and someone else, not the same person that smacked it, somebody else had to translate it to English. And so they could get two points per round. Um, and then the other thing you could do with two teams would be you get your chart ready, and you have one team read off one of them for the other team to go and smack. So as kids are able to read aloud comfortably, or they volunteer to read aloud, they could do that. I would do that with like my seventh and eighth graders who have had me for three or four years. So there's the basic version of SMAC. The other thing I wanted to show was improv. This again re really worked well. This is fifth grade again. Um, you'll see the same verbs, see one and two for like and go, and some of these basic ones again. Um, and I gave them to them in small groups. So they got to see all of this. Everybody in each group was looking at the same chart. And then they were going to come up with a silent 10 second improv type skit that demonstrated what it meant. And then the other kids who thought they knew would raise their hand and guess which one it was. So if they aren't comfortable reading the sentence aloud, but they knew the meaning, they could just say, it's six or it's eight. You know? And so that was nice too. Again, lots and lots of reps on the reading because they read them when they came up with their skit. They, they read them when they were the audience for every other skit. Um, and they're scanning and looking. And of course, there's a few English words. And I put in some in for words that they know how it sounds, but they don't know what it looks like in a character form yet.